Hola amigos, I'm the Spanish chef Omar Ali Boy from Tapas Revolution Restaurants and today I'm going to show you how to prepare merluza a la sidra, hake cooked in a cider sauce, a very traditional dish from the north of Spain. One of the good things about this recipe is that it's really simple to make, like most of my recipes, and it's pretty quick as well. So if I don't talk too much, you will have your dinner ready pretty soon. So let me show you how to start. We're going to need some fresh hake fillets, some chipotle chilies, white pepper powder, plain flour, saffron, garlic, chive, green apples, a very large Spanish onion, a leek, some fish stock, apple cider which will form the base of our sauce, a bit of salt and extra virgin olive oil. We're going to start by preparing the leek. As you know, it normally has a bit of sand in between the greener parts of the leaves. So I'm just cutting sort of the outer part out, which I will wash with some cold water. And I'm going to cut the lengthy stalk into stripes so that I can not finely chop it, but not dice it either, somewhere in between. You can use a julienne, you know, the cut in this particular sauce is not very important. So just do it how you feel most comfortable, using a good chef knife, just like the one I'm using, that you can buy with a discount from the description box below. Now peel your large Spanish onion and finely chop it, as well as peeling and thinly slicing some garlic. Core the apples using a cold remover if you have one, otherwise just cut them into large wedges with your knife and discard the seeds inside. We're going to start with the cooking now. So place a white frying pan over medium heat with a generous drizzle of extra virgin olive oil and add your onion and your leek and cook it for about 20 minutes until translucent. This is a generous sauce for four, so it will take that amount of time. Do not rush it, as the slower you cook it, the sweeter your onion and your leeks will taste as well. Add your spices and the flour and we're gonna toast it for a couple of minutes. Add your garlic as well so it cooks at the same time. We don't want the garlic to be fried on this recipe, that's why I'm adding it at this point. I know it may seem a little odd. Add a little bit of salt and a bit of the apple cider. Give it a good steer and add the remaining part. I'm doing it at stages so that it doesn't form any lumps. It allows enough time for stirring and dissolving those lumps. And do exactly the same with the fish stock. Just add a little bit at a time, give it a good stir in between pours and just take your time while doing it. You will see that the result is a velvety sauce, which is what we are after. It will change the texture completely and you will make the flavor of the flour disappear. Now, to finish off the sauce, we're going to add the apple wedges. And while that happens, we're going to start cooking our fillets of hake. So pat dry them properly, season them with a bit of salt, and over high heat in a very wide frying pan, drizzle a good generous amount of extra virgin olive oil, and we're going to cook these loins skin side down for about five minutes. Use a non-stick frying pan if you have. Unfortunately, I didn't have one to hand, and the result is that, that my loins are stuck slightly into my pan, which makes, makes them look a little bit um, not as neat as I wanted. And now, as you can see, I'm turning off the heat on my sauce and I am placing my loins of hake inside so that they cook with the residual heat of the frying pan and the sauce for about three to four minutes before we start plating up. So place a generous amount of that sauce into each of the plates and then finish it off with the loin on top and a good drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. Bit of fresh chive to finish it off, give it a bit of a garlicky taste and it's ready to enjoy. And the moment of truth, let's give this a try. It's quite hot. I'll try a little bit of the sauce and the fish. Mmm! And it's cooked to perfection. Which hake is a tricky fish as it dries out very quickly. 
so remember what I found. Sit it on the skin and just finish it off, off the heat in the sauce. It has a bit of acidity, sweetness from the side amp and the apples as well as a little bit sour, but sour in a very positive way. It really is sensational, I hope you give it a try. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, share it with your friends, whoever you think may benefit from it. Remember, this recipe comes from my first book, Tapas Revolution. If you wanna try it on the flesh, come to my restaurants, again, Tapas Revolution. And if you're looking for Spanish ingredients, go to my website, thespanishchef.com. All the best, familia. Subscribe to the channel once again and see you in the next video. Adios. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, share it and subscribe.